Welcome back to Gobino Games, and it's time for a Guardian Guild War against Avenger X. It's one of the top guilds here in the Asia server, and let's go hit these OP defenses from these Guardian 3 players. Oh, hey, we have here a Kumun Bastet Odin, and we've been seeing a lot of this one. The resistance play with that Tessarian, Taranis, and Molly. Now for the first team, let's go play around with our Kumun, Busa, and Tessarian. Can Busa tank this Odin? Well, let's see. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a suicide mission, but then again, let's try it out. And then for this team below, we can easily Bulwark Emilia Skogolid. But I'm thinking we haven't been playing around with our Ganymede for a while. So how about we use Gany with some form of comp that can actually beat this defense. Now, I'm bringing, I'm thinking Gany so that we can reset this Tyrannus from reviving. At the same time, how about we bring in our Molong together with the Harmonia so that we can actually, you know, ventilate onto a Reckless Assault and then at the same time we can also ventilate Harmonia, you know, with that Unwanted Harmony and the heals. Will that work? Technically, it should, right? Well, nonetheless, you got that this resistance lead from this Tessarian, so Tessarian's gonna be hitting onto Argani. Molly is going to be hitting onto anyone, for that matter. And of course, Taranis will keep working on our Molo. Well, let's go have some fun and see if it works. Let's go! We should get the first third with that Bastet, right? Because of the higher base speed of our Wusa. Okay. Now... <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna go. Look at the attack bars. This Bastet's gonna go. Give all that knowledge to this Odin. With that shield will, he's gonna get all the stacks and will be able to ignore defense. Okay, we survived it. Oh, but that violent proc though. Oh man, well that's not good. Because now this Odin is actually has been able to steal our immunity. So I'm thinking, let's go Oblivion this Kumun. We have to wait for this Odin to actually lose his immunity. At the same time, I don't want to use the Soul Devourer. I'm gonna use it for that Odin here. Okay. Now, even though he has that knowledge, we can actually oblivion him and hopefully we will need to put a defense break for our soul devourer to work and of course oblivion so that he doesn't have that ignore defense skill right and then now the question is can we kill 28,000 damage on that odin nice damage from our commune eh? okay now well no heals on both sides that defense break on Artisarian. Oh man. <laughs> Two versus one. Can we do this? Not good with the defense break. Okay, we get the Valent proc. Alright, alright. Of course, the Valent proc goes back and forth here. Was that a violent? Yeah, it's a violent Bastet. Now, can Kumun beat this Bastet? Well, it seems like she is unable to break through our shield. And yeah, her shield doesn't, you know, refresh like the shield of Kumun, right? Because Kumun Shield every time will like give us a little bit of that um, a new shield every turn, while Bastet will lose the power of her shield as she gets her turns. So I'm going to wait for yep no damage. 
comeback is real guys. I think we have a chance against this Bastet. Especially if she keeps going violent. You see, because we're able to do damage. Okay. Man, the violent procs nowadays are supposed to be, what, less than before, right? But it seems like, I don't know what system <laughs> comp was changed, but I guess it's more fair nowadays, right? I mean, it goes back and forth technically based on the new, or what I call it, developments that they did. Oh, hey. Kumun with a comeback, guys. Oh man, this is such an OP fight. Breaks the shield for the kill. Uh, not yet. Well, she's a fast busted, at the same time, she's a valiant busted. Okay. Next one. We're going to save our reset on that Tranis because I don't want him punting. You know, revive or whatever on the smallie. But at the same time, we brought in a vampire molong. Just so, you know, when you go reckless assault, it wouldn't do that much damage to our health. We're going to let them move first so that they lose the immunity and shields. But let's go try and go for the stun and strip just in case. Oh! Additional turn and puts a defense break. We'll have to cleanse that because then the Stranis can actually kill our uh, Ganymede. Now seal magic onto Tyrannus just to make sure he doesn't put soul protection and doesn't have that revive up. I'm thinking let's go reckless assault this Molly because we have ventilate anyway. And since we are vampire, yep, we were able to do or to get some of that life drain up. Oh man, but of course she goes violent and actually heals herself well we do have unwanted harmony lower down her health at the same time we can ventilate onto our molong for another reckless assault oh but this yeah let's go kill can we kill nice kill if our molong was on violent that would have been a different story because then we would have had or taken more damage right well, right now, Ganymede is in danger. We'll have to stun this Desarion and this Tyrannus because with a defense break on our um, Ganymede, this Tyrannus is going to kill our Gany. Oh, man. Okay, two versus two now. The danger here is, of course, this Tyrannus, if he gets a violent proc, he'll be able to revive that molly mm. if he gets enough turns that is hopefully we'll see defense break so he doesn't do a lot of damage okay we have to wake up our molong ah, this this okay we need to stun oh no <laughs> there goes Molly. We have the Reckless Assault here. I'm thinking we should kill this Molly again because I don't want her healing. Ooh, sleep. Oh no. Uh, defense break. Um, let's go heal or unwanted harmony. We have to wake up our Molong. I'm oblivion on our Harmonia doesn't really matter. I'm thinking we should do unwanted harmony just, just to put... Yeah, but then we have to heal up because they're going to get both turns. Stun. Nice stun. Now we do unwanted harmony so that we can lower the health of this Taranis here. The question is... Does he have that passive up? Mm. Let's continue working on Tyrannis. Can we kill this Tyrannis? Almost there. 
<laughs> okay, kill Tranis. Uh, no, back again with the Molly. Well, I think we do have our Reckless Assault up. Okay. Kill this Molly again. <laughs> okay, nice sleep. Uh, unwanted Harmony this Tyrannis will lower his health. Right? Te well, technically, he does have more health than my Molong. So that should lower. Okay. And then now. Oh, heals with that wild blow. <laughs> Man. Okay, that's fine. We should. Okay, that's fine. Because with a defense break, then we were able to actually do more damage with our Harmonia against that Rhino. So, GG. Yeah, that was tricky. Yeah, you'll have to consider like which or which monster will have that higher HP and all that. So anyway, next defense here. Hello, is it Tamiel? Yep, you got your tower burned, bro. <laughs> OP Zeta. Okay, more of that Tessarian, you know, uh, Taranis and okay, I think I like that one, that LND defense. Okay, more defenses from the Avenger X. Let's go for an OP LND defense. Let's go for this Neptis, Rahul, and Perna together with a Ciara, Lauren, and Masha. For the team above, let's go outspeed that Rahul with this Neptis with our Kalyon, Zyros, and Tiana. Okay. And then for this team below, the Sierra, Lauren, Masha, I'm thinking we'll need a dark tank. Because for sure this Lauren's gonna get the first turn, right? And then someone who can actually kill this Masha and the Sierra. But then I'm thinking Jultan, right? Lauren's gonna go for Jultan. Strips, puts a defense break. Then Masha is going to attack onto Jultan because he has a defense break. And then Sierra most most probably will put a bomb on the defense broken in Jultan. Snipe Jultan. And then we're going to have a bit of a problem with that Lauren putting all the defense breaks and, you know, lowering attack bars, you know, putting slow. So we'll need a form of sustain in case they are able to do a lot of damage against this Jultan. So how about we put a Triana? Okay, let's see if it works. Hopefully we get to outspeed this Rahul, right? Because if Rahul goes first, we're GG. Okay. Time to loot. Don't cut in. Okay, fiery breath for the kill. No more, oh, but resisted though. Um kill oh with the attack break nice damage from our Ciara because remember that skill scales off with speed so the faster that Rahul was the more damage we were actually able to do with him or to him for that matter okay here we go here's what I was saying oh but the Valen proc yeah good thing yeah he went wow look at the violent procs on these guys hmm <laughs> okay, now we get the Valor proc. Valor proc goes around. Okay, Sierra continuously working on the Jolton. Let's go kill this Masha. I'm not so scared of this Lauren now because Lauren is on Swift and the Valor procs are with this Sierra. So we're gonna stun that Sierra and then now just kill whoever. And GG. Okay. That's a nice defense, that Neptis Rahul. Man. Okay, let's go for a plus one tower now. Let's see. Yeah, I really like that defense. I've, you know, that Theo, Beta, and Molly. But we always want to go for Artamel. 
and more LND defenses. Well, every time I see, well, that's a Neptis, Fongyan, and that's a Leona. Let's bring in our Galleon together with our Diana, and of course, the Light Chun Li. And then for this team below, let's go bomb them away with our Ciara, Chasun, and a Dark Tank. I just love Jotan, <laughs> especially with all these light LND monsters. That's a Artamiel, Molly, and of course, Iona. Iona with that Light of Revival, she's gonna provide increased defense for that Artamiel, and that Artamiel is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Well, let's go see. Winds of Change, the faster Galleon, time to loot. Okay, Chun Li. Spinning bird kick. How much damage? Oh no. Oh man. Yeah, the segment just violent broke then. Yeah, three versus one. Oh man. Is this Fangyan gonna solo us though? Yeah, I can't believe we weren't able to kill the Fangyan because technically he had a defense break, right? And sh he is slower. So technically we should have been able to. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but we definitely need to skill up this Chun Li. Oh man. Okay, here come the light monsters. Everyone's gonna be going for our jewel ton here. And we're just going to keep working on this Iona first because we don't want her buffing. At the same time, we don't want her reviving. Now, Molly is going to. Okay, of course, cleanse the lower HP of Tamil. And now we're gonna heal block onto this Iona because then, you know, they wouldn't be able to heal. Okay, now can this bomb kill this Iona? Gucci! Okay, with the heal blocks from Jotan, this is just so nice. Because then, well, unless of course this uh, Molly is able to cleanse it. I'm gonna put the bomb, she's going to cleanse. Stun? No stuns. Yep, air shield, and that's fine. Heal block? No heal block. Alright. She just used that air shield, so... Heal block on two. Okay. Air shield on two. And then, bye-bye. Yep. There you have it. Our Guardian Guild War against Avenger X. So many LND monsters. I want Neptis. Neptis is just so OP, bro. I mean, you know, her skills, she won't be able to resist it. So, no one can be resisted. I mean, she can't be resisted. No one can resist all those debuffs. And... What's, of course, you can't, or you don't need accuracy on that, right? Oh man. Au revoir, Artamiel. <laughs> okay. Well, it's the time of that month for Toa Summons. And the rotation for Villagel. So, GG Kiwi00. Zero zero. Let's go summon. Okay. Well, we're just finishing our trial of ascension card all right 100th floor here come the legendary scroll all right now let's go summon but of course as part of our ritual we're going to evolve our recently acquired ophelia six star ophelia yep leveling her up 
Okay, nice, Sue. Okay, watch out for more of Ophelia content. Well, we do need a lot more Devilmons. But we're gonna get there. Let's go straight to the summon. What we want is, of course, the Fire Archangel in this rotation. Fire Archangel, also known as Villagerel. A really good pair with, say, like a Taranis. A really good pair with a Fangyan. Um, anyone who scales off defense. I don't have an Abelio, but definitely good with an Abelio. Um, you can team him up also with, say, like a Basalt, right? Anyone who provides defense break, uh, sorry, defense buff. Uh, anyway. Okay, we got a few summons. That's 20 exclusive. Oh no. No fake NB5s come to us. Come on now. Well, we're gonna summon everything that we have right now. We have exclusive summoning stones. We got mystical scrolls, a few elemental scrolls, and of course, the legendary summons. Yeah, I've prepared for this because then, you know, I, I pretty much emptied my monster box just so we can get this summon session, you know, smoothly. Summoning smoothly. No lightning. What's up with that? I mean, dude, 20 summons and no lightning. I mean, usually when it's like this, you sh you're gonna be expecting like one big lightning and get like, oh, meh, no lightning. That is so bad, bro. Jesus. Well, I feel the lightning coming. It should happen <laughs> with our light and dark scrolls right at this rate oh still no lightning so that's like 20 plus scrolls with no lightning it's that bad come to us really is that bad it's almost like 25 scrolls we're going 30 scrolls with no lightning why? <laughs> Is it because... Uh, what's up with this? Oh man... So bad. 30 summons. No lightning. I mean, if I was like... <laughs> yeah. The drought continues. Okay, here we go. Oh, but... That circle, every time that loading circle comes out, that's never good. Yeah, that's never good. That's just come to us thinking about mm, what other you know non NB5 monster can we give this guy? Maybe if it's a street fighter you'll get like another Dalsim. Damn That's like 40 summons with one lightning. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Villadriel incoming. Fire scroll. Still no lightning. Did someone derp? Did someone derp our lightning rates? <laughs> uh, that's like... I don't know. Um, let's just put a little more. Yeah, my monster box is kind of full. But that's all we need right now. 10 spaces. You know, we've summoned all that. We have a few more. That's like three legendary summons. Come on, forcing the lightning. Fuko. Mid game, good. But end game, not so much. Oi. Okay. Well, you know what I'm thinking? I kind of tried this in my uh, alternate account like you know the lightning rates are bad like purchase something from the uh, guild shop right and then go back to summons 
I don't know. Let's let's just try it. Okay. Right. Three fire scrolls. Come on, Villagewell. Okay, lightning. Oh, but the loading again. That's Aquila. A good one. Definitely good. Especially if you pair him with Garo with a speed lead. With that high base speed, you'll get that first turn. Okay, still no lightning. Well, now no more lightning. Two more legendary scrolls. Let's go come to us. Water KFG. He's not even... Uh, okay, MVP Kumun. Oh man, well we got four more summons and we do have a bit of crystals. Let's go just fill it up, fill up the 20, 120. Oh man, still no lightning. Okay, lightning. Oh shit, I skipped it. Ooh. <laughs> you ask for a a fire archangel and come to us gives us a water demon. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? But then wow, well, well happy to yeah, happy for a new unit. It's the water demon. Um, yeah, really good. Especially he has that revive passive. You know, every time you take X number of turns, you know, he'll revive with that sword. Wow, it's Belial, right? That repeated nightmare passive is just really good. Yeah, that's gonna be fun to play with. Yeah, definitely. I'm thinking maybe a rage build. Or I think some people build him on Vampire, but we're gonna test that out. We'll need more Devil Mons though. <laughs> more Devil Mons to level up. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, wow, well, thank you, come to us. That's a new monster. Although the lightning rates were very bad. Um, yeah, good thing we finished up the 120, because if we didn't, then it would have been a very bad summon session. Okay, thank you. And now let's go awaken him. Where is that guy? The water demon. Asked for a fire archangel and you get a water demon. Okay, maybe next time I go ask for like... A, well, not a water demon anymore because... Anyway, the water demon again awakens into... Boom. Belial. Alright. Well, yeah, we're gonna build him too. But of course, uh, watch out for Ophelia first. We'll need Devil Mons, and we're already feeding it to our uh, Ophelia. Nonetheless, um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Have a great weekend ahead, and may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.